Um, I want to take just a few minutes and I want to talk to those who call Watermark home. I want to talk to our members. And um, what I want to say to you is, is just to acknowledge, as you know, we are in a time of leadership transition. And if you're like me, sometimes um, transitions can feel a bit um, unsettling. But as I said, although we're in a time of transition, I want to be very clear, we are not lost. We are not lost. Our vision and our mission and our core values remain the same. And Jesus Christ is the head of our church. We always have and we always will measure our success by our ability to be and to make disciples. That hasn't changed and it won't change. As I said, our mission continues. Just this um, Last week, if you were to have arrived on our campus any day of the week, I think you would have been encouraged just to um, come up here and see all that is going on, the various ways in which um, people are getting plugged into the life of our church and being ministered to. For example, this last Wednesday, I was super encouraged to see dozens of uh, junior high kids out on our, our lawn, and um, they were learning about Daniel chapter 3. And what does it look like to remain faithful in a culture which tempts us to compromise our faith? In fact, the very next day, I had lunch with a good friend of mine who said, hey, I went to go pick up my daughter from Wake last night, and she and a bunch of her friends piled into the car, and they had an amazing time. And when I asked them, hey, how did it go? They said, oh, it was great. We can't wait to come back, and we're going to invite our friends to come next time. And I just thought to myself, words I never said in junior high right? But how great is it that a ton of junior high students are saying, hey, dad, I can't wait to come back to church and I'm going to bring my friends. And so our mission continues. And now I want to tell you a little bit about um, two priorities we have as a church. And the first priority is to add to our elder team. As you know, we have three elders, Kyle Thompson, Mickey Frederick, and then me. And we are asking the Lord, and of course, this is in his timing, but we would love to see three to four more men quickly added to this team. And so we're praying that the Lord would show us who those men are. And as we pray, we're, we're in very grateful because it's not like we're screaming like, hey, who's out there? But there is a long list of qualified, gifted leaders who have been at Watermark um, for a really long time who we know. And so this is just more of an opportunity to go, Lord, show us. Who would you have us choose? Who do you choose? And make it clear. We'd ask you to pray for us. And we're really excited, I think, in the next coming uh, few weeks, hopefully, to be able to introduce you to uh, one person we're long in conversations with who uh, we hope to add to our team very soon. And so that's the first priority. And then the second priority is to help the body, you, each of you, re-engage in the life of our church. Let's face it, after a year of COVID, right, and now summer travels and people are busy during the summer, um, it's easy to feel a little disconnected relationally from one another. And so we want to encourage all of you to re-engage within your community groups, come back, start serving. I love seeing everybody in red and green and yellow shirts over there, right? Serving in our children's ministry. But come back, serve. And it's not just so that you can help us, but we know that when we live in community and when we're serving others, that's when God grows our faith. And so um, we want to encourage all of our members to come and get re-engaged back into the life of our church. In the fall, once more people are back and we're settled more into a routine and school has started, we're gonna have a uh, member meeting where we'll all gather together and you'll hear some updates uh, from our leadership just on plans for the future and and where we are and answer many of your questions. So I wanna encourage you to uh, keep a lookout for that. And then often I'm asked, hey, what's our plan for Sunday mornings? And um, that's really simple. Our plan for Sunday mornings is to keep going. And uh, we um, uh, wanna let you know that we're gonna have men like John Elmore, who's teaching today, and David Marvin, um, and I will share the teaching responsibilities uh, for the next several weeks. We're kicking off a series today called Playlist. I think you're gonna be really encouraged. I heard John in the first service. It was 
uh, really encouraged by what he shared. And uh, it's going to be over several weeks, we're going to look at the book of Psalms. And so um, it will be the priority of the elder team, um, once that is full, to uh, determine our long-term plans for um, uh, Sunday mornings, okay? So as I said, I know this is a time of, of transition, which can be a little unsettling for folks, but our job today is just to take the next step of faithfulness and to be faithful in the moment, to not be hasty, to listen for the Lord, remain obedient and dependent upon him.